As sirens blare in the North Vietnamese airbase, fighter pilots scramble to intercept American fighter and bomber jets as they fly into North Vietnam. Yet, as they scramble to confront the enemy, they push their MiG-19 to Mansky RD-9 engines to the limit as they roar down the runway order with afterburners engaged to confront the intruding American aircraft. Once airborne, the pilots anxiously move to intercept the enemy aircraft, and in the frantic flying, wonder whether their planes will be able to catch up and intercept the aircraft in time before it is too late in yet another aircraft interception mission that has been all too common to these pilots. Yet, the planes that they pilot are no slow aircraft. They are the MiG-19, or more specifically, Shenyang J-6 Chinese license-built copies, with the accompanying NATO reporting name of Farmer. The fighter aircraft given to the Vietnamese People's Air Force by the People's Republic of China and the Soviet Union, among many other communist nations, as a part of a support package to help the North Vietnamese counter U.S. and South Vietnamese allies in the Greater Vietnam War. The planes have to regularly face the might of American air power. Yet, even in small numbers, the Vietnamese People's Air Force utilize their big 19s to successfully repel American interceptions. Yet, these aircrafts are being replaced with even more technologically advanced fighters in the overall Vietnam War. This is the history and engineering of the MiG-19, Soviet engineering in action. This video is at LN Production, a channel focusing on science, technology, and engineering, and we hope you enjoy. The development of the MiG-19 originally started with information gathered during the Korean War. The war between Soviet-backed North versus American-backed South involved large amounts of new technologies that both superpowers were eager to test. One of these technologies would be the introduction of jet fighters into mainstream combat. Yet, to even understand jet fighters and their involvement on both sides of the Korean War, we have to go even further back to the chaotic technological arms race during World War II. During World War II, both Allied and Axis powers deeply invested in the emerging jet technology in effort to one-up the other side, as both Allied and Axis powers invested deeply in this technology as if implemented early enough, it would prove decisive. Two of the earliest jet fighters ever made, those being the ME-262, made by Nazi Germany, followed by the Glossner Meteor, made by the British. These were the, among the first initial stepping stones of early jet technology. The MiG-19 itself originated in the Soviet quest for jet technology amidst the backdrop of the Cold War. As the Soviet Union's efforts during World War II to develop a jet fighter were boosted by the influx of captured German scientists into Soviet research, as many of them had extensive knowledge of military technology and were quickly implemented into various Soviet design projects. In short time after the end of World War II, the Soviet Union introduced one of the first mainstream fighter jets for use, that being the MiG-15 and later MiG-17, both planes being instrumental in the eventual development of the MiG-19. As within the Korean War, both sides gained invaluable knowledge of the potential successes and the drawbacks of jet-powered aircraft. As despite the speed increase that came with the jet engines, they were still very susceptible to piston-propeller-driven aircraft, and both sides were quick to fix and develop new jet aircraft to improve upon their designs, and within that knowledge, the MiG-19 has its foundations based upon. to the MiG-19 itself. The MiG-19, building upon the foundations of the MiG-15 and MiG-17, among many other Soviet aircraft, pushed the boundaries of speed and innovation at the time. The initial MiG-19 featured a homegrown, innovative turbojet engine design, that of the McEwen AM-5, or later called the Tumatsky RV-9. This engine was significant, as this was what powered the supersonic mass production of the MiG-19 and gave way to the blazing increase in speeds that was to follow. 
This engine was massively innovative, as this engine that would power the MiG-19 was the first homegrown turbojet engine that itself was not grounded into British or German design and was another step forward for Soviet aerospace engineering. During this time, the Soviets were increasingly looking into ramjet and turbojet technology that will allow their aircraft to fly at ever faster speeds. In a simplified nutshell, a turbojet works by compressing outside air into a series of combustion chambers that is then ignited and released as exhaust thrust that powers the aircraft. This allows engines to fly at very high speeds, yet with drawbacks such as very high fuel consumption. This engine itself was able to put a 6,600 pound force of thrust without its afterburners engaged, and 8,300 pound force of thrust with its afterburners engaged, bringing the aircraft that was equipped with two of these Tometsky RD-9 engines to max speeds of Mach 1.35, blazing the path for supersonic aircraft. The Tumansky RD-9 engines are also remarkable for Soviet engineering, as they were the first homegrown engines that would later be used as a foundation for other generators in the Soviet Union. The MiG-19 was also one of the first mass-produced supersonic aircraft that was able to be equipped with air-to-air missiles, such as the K-13 missile. This missile specifically was reverse-engineered by the Soviets after acquiring it from the People's Republic of China, and was based upon the American AIM-9B Sidewinder. More commonly found on the MiG-19 was a K-5 air to air missile. Yet, both the K-5 and K-13 missiles were very short range, as early missile guidance systems were quite novel. The aircraft was equipped with more rudimentary weapon systems, as it was able to be equipped with two RO-57K rocket pods capable of carrying up to 64 S-5 unguided rockets or two FAB-250 unguided general bombs, alongside its standard Nudelman Richter NR-30 autocannon. These weapons helped the MiG-19 stand out for its ability as a supersonic multi-role fighter jet. The MiG-19 itself had a unique swept wing design that allowed it to push forward at blazing speeds. The swept wing design differed radically from the traditional straight wing designs of World War II and before. As despite swept wing designs being made before World War II, they gained much more traction during the jet age as the swept wing design allowed for lower drag and increased speeds and airflow at high speeds, allowing for the MiG-15, 17, and 19, among others, to benefit from its high speeds. However, this hasty development of the MiG-19 in the wake of the Cold War led to the aircraft to experience many critical problems within its usage. One notable issue would be that of handling with the aircraft and certain areas of the aircraft having poor manufacturing capabilities, leading to serious in-flight problems with piloting the aircraft. Yet, the aircraft proved for the most part to be a reliable and capable aircraft that was developed by the Soviet Union and later exported to many other countries to serve as their own fighter jets. As the aircraft, although under the MiG-19 name, had many offshoot variants, including the Chinese license book copy called the Shenyang J-6, that, much like the MiG-19, in itself was exported to many other nations such as Vietnam and North Korea. The most common MiG-19 aircraft variants would be the MiG-19P and the MiG-19S, all having differing specifications to meet different requirements and to catch up to their NATO counterparts. There are some current operators, albeit of the Shenyang J-6, such as China and North Korea. Yet, the MiG-19 and Shenyang J-6 serves as a global, reliable, and capable multi-role fighter jet. The MiG-19, although the first mass-produced supersonic aircraft, was not as widely adopted as a fighter aircraft compared to its earlier counterparts and future successor, the MiG-21. This is partly due to the fact of its haste in development. However, the aircraft was used in combat extensively and featured in some notable areas of operation. The most recognizable of the operation would be that in the skies of Vietnam, as the Vietnamese People's Air Force made extensive usage of the MiG-19 in its efforts to defend against a new and innovative United States Air Force and its opposing South Vietnamese government. The Shenyang J6F6 fighters were transferred to Vietnam from the People's Republic of China, and in all actually had a sizable yet minute effect on the overall air power conflict in Vietnam. 
as the bulk of the Vietnamese People's Air Force was made up of MiG-15, 17s, and the ultra-capable MiG-21. Despite this, it earned a fair reputation as a quick and capable fighter in the skies of Vietnam, primarily being used to counter American bomber and slow-moving aircraft in the skies of Vietnam. The aircraft was also involved in many other conflicts throughout the Cold War, and the MiG-19, much like its predecessors, were adopted by many air forces around the world. Despite its old age and obsoleteness, it still has some operators in the world. The most notable of these will be the People's Liberation Air Force of the People's Republic of China, who use it in much of a sideline role with its primary focus on more modern aircraft, and the Korean People's Air Force, which still actively uses the MiG-19 in its auto military operations. These have been the few of the most notable aircraft operators, however, the aircraft is dwindling in military usage due to its obsoleteness. In all, the MiG-19 and its variants were trailblazing remarkable aircraft, as they pushed the limits of mass supersonic aircraft design, and its effects wreak havoc on opposing aircraft. Despite its rushed development and the various problems associated with the aircraft, it was received generally well by all nations who operated them, as the aircrafts proved to be a cheap and affordable solution to many of these air forces. While its mark on history may be limited and minimal in comparison to other aircraft, the Big 19 is no less one of the most impressive aircraft in its storied history and innovative development, 